Well, hi there. I'm going to show you how to do the Owl Eye Lightning Blanket. And this is it here. This is what it looks like. This is the pattern. I'm really enjoying doing it too. Very easy. Not a single pearl in it. Very easy stitches. Okay. Now, how you mark this. Because I'm doing a blanket, I wanted to have a longer border here before this started on the edge. And I wanted to have a long enough here before I started too. So I did three rows here. And here is just straight owl eye coming down before we start doing the other pattern. So you're going to have four end pegs on each side. Okay? You're going to be even to do this. Now, this loom has 42 pegs. It's a three-quarter inch loom. So I only used 40 pegs and I marked these two so I wouldn't mix them up. This stitch, as you can see, doesn't shrink very much. So that's why I did the 40 pegs, because I want this to be a smaller blanket. Good for um, on a wheelchair, an infant, a lap blanket, however you want that to be. Okay, so we've got our four pegs. So then after the four pegs, we mark two pegs. Then we have three unmarked pegs, we mark two pegs. Three unmarked pegs, we mark two pegs. Three unmarked pegs, we pe mark two pegs. Three unmarked pegs, we mark two pegs. Three, then two marked. Three, then two marked. So this is our pattern. It's a pattern of five. Three, and then two marked. But when we come to the end, we end with the marked. Okay, so we're ending with the marked on this side, and we're ending with the marked on this side. And then we have our three pegs. Oh, here I am. We're ending with the marked, and then we have our four pegs for the beginning. And the same here. We're ending with the marked pegs, and then we have our four pegs for the ending. So you need to work out your math so that you always end with these pegs. So it's a pattern of five plus two, because you're going to have the two on the end plus your end pegs. And I've picked four. Okay, now hopefully that makes sense. And for me, that was 40 pegs. If you were going to um, change this, you would have to take out these two pegs and then these three. So you'd have to take out five to end here. So instead of 40, you'd be 40 uh, minus five. You'd be at 35 pegs. Okay. So... That just shows you um, how you can figure out this pattern. Just make sure that you end with the marked pegs before you have your end pegs. Okay, so I'm going to um, show you how to cast on and then we'll start in on the pattern. Okay, and I have a video of the casting on and the first few rows and it's actually in the same yarn so I'll just take you there. And we will see you after that and get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get started. So first thing we do is we just take this and do a slip knot. And there's a lot of different ways to do a slip knot. I just twist it around like this and stick the yarn through and put it on the first peg and tighten. Now, if you want, you can put it on there or you can just hold it tight if you don't have one. And then this is a crochet chain cast on. So all we do is stick the loom hook inside the loop, scoop up the working yarn like this. So we get a loop, pull the loop out, and then make sure this is tight here. You want the stitch to be tight. You can put down your loom hook now. And you're just going to take that loop and you're in control of the loop. You can make the loop bigger or smaller. Okay, so make sure it's held tight there. Put it around the next peg. 
take the working yarn and pull it through and tighten it. Behind the next peg, pull it through and snug it up. Behind, snug it up. Behind, snug it up. Very easy. Behind, snug it up. Loops getting too long, just shorten it. Behind, snug it up. Behind, snug it up. Then when you get to the last peg in the pattern, you're just going to put it on like that. Take the working yarn over, take your loom hook and knit it over. And there you are. And then all we're going to do is a row of owl eye. Okay, so we're going to go over the first two pegs like this, nice and loose. And we're going to knit them off. Okay, got the working yarn. We're going to go over the next two pegs, knit them off. And just because this is so bright, I'm going to turn the this down a little bit so you can see better because we're white and then we've got a, a creamier colored yarn here. Okay, so we're going to go behind, wherever we are, we're on peg one. So go over peg one and two. Nice and loose. Wherever the working yarn is, is peg one. We go front and over one and two. That's all there is to it. We're on peg one, we go over one and two. Very, very easy stitch. We're on peg one, go over one and two. On peg one, we go over peg one and two. On peg one, go over one and two. And then over the last two, keeping it nice and loose. We come around, we want this to be loose, so you might even want to pull this out. We want to make sure it stays loose. And we go over the these two again, over the next two. And we're just going to do a few rows of owl eye. Okay, and that's to start this pattern. This will be our edge. We come back same way, nice and loose, knit it off. Okay, and we're going to go back. So this will be our third row of all eye. And we're just going to take a look and see how much work we have. And that looks pretty good for the base. Okay, so we did three rows and that's going to be our base. If you want, you can do one more row. Maybe you've done your piece wider or longer than mine and you want to have a longer base here. You can decide and you can put in another row before we start into the pattern. Okay, so let's get back to the piece we're working on and uh, we will see you there. Okay, so here we are and we're going to get started. So I did my first few owl eye pegs and then um, I did my first two marked pegs. So now I'm on an owl eye. So I'm just going to knit that over in a U-wrap, come behind it and knit over the next two. Knit them off. Come over the next two, knit them off. Come back over the last one, knit it off. 
Okay, now whenever I get to these two pegs, I'm going to do juniper stitch. So how I do that is I go over it and over it again. So get closer so you can see this. I have, the light blue doesn't show up very good on here, does it? I've got three strands of yarn on here, okay? Wrap around, three strands of yarn, and I'm going to take the bottom two and put them over the top. Snug it up slightly, that's all you do. So you wrap over, and then you're going to take the bottom two, put it over the top, okay? Now you're on the pegs that are unmarked, so you're going to go over in a U-wrap, knit it off, come back over the next two, knit them off, come over the next two, and knit them off, and then put your last wrap on this one. Now you're on the two marked pegs. <laughs> My hands all twisted up in the yarn here. <laughs> okay, so here we are. We're going to go over in the juniper stitch. So we're wrapping around it twice here. We're taking the two bottom loops over the top. Wrapping over it twice, taking the two bottom loops over the top. Okay, and then owl eye on the next three pegs. We're on peg one, we knit over, we knit over one and two. On peg one, over one and two. Second stitch on the peg, and now we've got these two marked pegs, so we go over twice like that, two bottom over the top. Snug it up. Two bottom over the top, snug it up. Then we're on owl eye. So this just whips around. Whenever you're on these pegs, it's just one base, it's basically just one row. So whenever you're on these unmarked pegs, you're doing owl eye. Whenever you're on these marked pegs, you're doing juniper stitch. And here we are now doing juniper stitch, juniper stitch. Okay, and I'm just going to finish this row and we will catch up when I'm near the end of the row. Okay, so here I am. I've done my last two juniper stitches on these marked pegs and I have my four end pegs. So I do an, I'm an owl eye go over it, over one and two. over one and two, over one and two. Now keeping it nice and loose, go back over these two and you can loosen it up. Want it to be nice and loose. We do owl eye back on these pegs. And now what we do is get some yarn is going to be doing juniper this way. So we wrap over it twice, bottom two over the top. Wrap over it twice, bottom two over the top. Now we're on the three pegs. We do owl eye. Okay, we're here, we do juniper stitch. Bottom two over the top, snug it up. Bottom two over the top, snug it up. And then I'll eye here. Okay, so that's all there is to it. You keep doing the same row again and again and again, doing owl eye on the unmarked pegs and doing juniper stitch on the marked pegs. 
and you just keep going until we get long enough. Here's what your inside looks like and it looks nice. And here's your outside with the pattern. Beautiful pattern, easy to do, no pearls, no curls. Okay, so I'll see you back when we're I'm ready to cast off and have fun. Okay, so I've done more, um, giving you a better look at the pattern. And um, you can see the cast on and the nice tight sides again. And uh, the back. The back looks just fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you to a bind off because you can take this as long as you want to go, as wide as you want to go. You could even make a shawl out of it if you'd like to with the right yarn. It will look just lovely. Perfect blanket for all sizes of human beings. So there you go. And um, that way you don't have to wait for me to finish it because I want to get this out while people are making their blankets for Christmas and stuff. So okay, I'm going to get this out to you soon and um, I hope you really enjoy it. And So now we will be binding off. So what we do is we just measure one, go down there, we come back two because we want to be long enough and then they say, most people say do it about three times so I'm going to do it close to three times and um, I'm just going to put you on pause because I have to find a scissors and a needle. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here. There we go, and I have my needle. I'm threading the needle. Okay, and um, I'm just going to give this a little tug here so it's not too loose. And then I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to go down. So I'm going to go inside this loop on this peg and put the working yarn through it. And snug it up. And then I'm going to go back up the first peg. Okay, snug it up a bit and I'm going to go around, around the second peg and in front of it and then I'm going to go down this peg and then up the second peg snugging it up as I go and then around the between the two pegs and around the front. So basically that's all we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down the peg in front back to the peg we had done before and then going around. So down the peg and around and up the peg. And around and then down the next peg up the peg before we'll just get this close right now and we're always pulling it tight and then between the two pegs we just did, 
around and then we'll be going down this next peg making sure the working yarn doesn't get all <laughs> hung up up the peg before and around tightening it as I go down up and around down and then up and around and then down the last one Whoop, and the work the needle came out. <laughs> so we better redo the needle. Okay, and then up and there we've gone through every peg. So we're just going to go back down the first one like that. And I'm going to come down it again, like that. There, just to secure it more, and then you'll just be weaving in your end. So now you can take it off the loom. Okay. 